some summer styling. So excited to be back. I had to unexpectedly take a couple of weeks off from content um, because life and I'm so excited to be back today and to style up some really fun summer looks for you. So over the last two months, I feel like I have had some of the best thrifting and vintage shopping luck. It has been so good that I don't have any room in my closet. Even buying some hangers has not helped because there's like physically no room in my closet, which is a great problem to have, I think. So I figured why not just style up some looks for you because summer is my favorite season. It is my time to shine and I just love all of the summer vibes. So today is going to be like a quick styling session. It's just me, you, and my phone just shooting up some looks for you that are inspired by my latest finds and I'm just going to talk you through the process. So let's get started. I have found a lot of gems lately. Some of them true vintage, some of them more Y2K, but super excited by all of them. If you caught my last video, I went to an estate sale um, with Donna and that was really good. So something that I am excited about styling possibly today is this Y2K lacy robe. Um, I love the idea of throwing it on over a slip dress, maybe doing some cowboy boots, um, maybe a baseball hat, just kind of having fun with the styling. Um, a newer piece is the 60s poochie dress um, and poochie screams summer to me. Um, I really like the idea of also styling up my vintage tab shorts. These definitely need to be ironed. These I've had for years, but I'm thinking about styling them with something else that I just got recently. So adding this to the list, let's see what else we've got here. Just moving down the closet. I told you this is going to be like quick and dirty styling session in the moment with Annette. Um, two skirts that I absolutely love. This first one is this vintage. This is Lily Rubin. Look at this. This is hand painted skirt um, and it has some sequins. Um, it's absolutely stunning skirt. I love, I think this is maybe like French countryside. I don't know. This is really fun. I'm going to style that up. Actually, I'm going to see how many of these I can style up. The other one is a gunny sack skirt. I found at the thrift store. You can still find gunnies um, at the thrift store. Um, so this is another piece. Um, I feel like this is going to turn into a show and tell, but I don't want to do too much of that. I actually want to style up. So actually, let's start with this one. I think I want to do something a little bit cash maybe with this outfit. Um, add some color and let's style this is the skirt. It's a little big on me, but when it's gunny sacks and it's thrifted, we do not complain. I actually like that it's not so fitted because it's more comfortable in the summer months. I don't want anything that's like ugh, too heavy. Um, I know I said casual, but I'm kind of thinking I want to style it up with that beaded Escada Couture belt that I have and then maybe style it down with the accessories. Um... Let me pull that out and put it on and show you what I'm thinking. Can I tell you, 80s glam meets 70s prairie, it works. I am going to keep the styling a little bit minimal here and just add a 90s western belt and then add some casual shoes, um, maybe some flats, even if it's not super casual. And I feel like I'm going to be really happy with this look. This vest is so stunning look at all the beading the sequins the pearl belt and even though it's a little bit heavier because of all of the embellishments it's still like flowy it's got a lot of air flow happening in the top which is a must in the summer this is my number one tip to minimal styling that still makes a big impact mix your aesthetics and mix your decades because that is how an outfit is going to look super stylish without really a lot of effort so as i mentioned we've got 80s 90s 70s 
these are contemporary and the whole outfit just goes and it's literally just consists of a vest a belt a skirt and some shoes this outfit could work really well with some heeled mules clogs um you could even probably do some sneakers if you're if i were walking around all day um i would wear this for like a quick coffee date with some friends maybe going to thrifting um a lunch date um it's super comfortable I love it and I think it's a really fun outfit. Um, let me know what you think of this. I love these styling videos by the way. I just have fun styling up pieces and then talking you through the process. Took off my earrings and as Harley would say, mom, I know you mean business. When you take off the clip-ons, you set them aside. Um, okay, so I think the next thing I want to shoot for your style is the Lily Rubin skirt. I just hand washed this. It's wrinkled, but we're friends. I'm not going to steam it right now for this video. I'm going to style it up. And this I want to style up as if I am in Provence and spending time with the kids. We are headed there um, in I think like 35 days. So this is like manifesting the wardrobe that I want. So the top that I'm going to style this with, I know exactly what it is. And it is a similar color to this. It's really, really beautiful. I found it at the flea market about a year ago. And it's like one of those great styling pieces. So I'm going to put that together. The shoes. Um, and then probably add on a jacket. Because in LA, it gets very chilly at nights. And very chilly i mean by like 62 like it is very chilly for us um just because you know sometimes you gotta braid the ac or the temp drops so let me put the skirt on and we can style it up okay, this is the top and i have to say this is reminding me of i'm watching the show about the dallas cowboys cheerleaders and as all the girls are doing their little crop top situation, they all like breathe before the big knot. I went at a flea market um, in one of the uh, little vendors that I like and it was a really good price. I think I got it for like under $10. And I like it because I can choose like how much I get to lace this up. And today I'm just gonna do it partial just so it's a little sexy a little cute and i want to give this kind of the effect of like a dress um so that it looks like it's working together or it came together um okay let me grab some shoes okay friends we're not going to judge annette today for her wrinkled skirt but also the fact that she's wearing her headband and not really doing anything about the hair um we're just focused on the cute little fits um okay look at how cute this looks i feel like i need to pack this on our trip to provence and wear this outfit as is um you know i love a good print mix and this little vest has a pretty butterfly and floral um, stitching throughout. It's just so pretty and it goes really well with this print on the skirt. This threw on my Chanel flats um, and then this cute little chartreuse um, shoulder bag um, from Vera Bradley. And look at this. I love it. I feel like I'm so ready to frolic through the lavender fields. Maybe have some vino. Um, and I would say um, for those of you who are traveling, thinking of different ways to style, I feel like both of these are such great staples. Like I could take the skirt and wear it with so many different tops and create different looks. Same with this. I could wear this with probably linen pants. I could wear it over a slip dress. I could wear it with jeans or with some shorts um, and just to have fun with it. And since we're just chatting through, this is like a chit chat styling video. I feel like maybe I should try to do that 3-3 three formula like three tops three bottoms three shoes or something like that i need to research i've seen it on tiktok just to show all the different ways you can style pieces but most of those people always pick minimalist pieces but i think i'm going to do a maximalist piece so side note let me know if you like the idea of that i'm wearing my slip dress because i wanted to throw on this lacy little robe this is definitely y2k i'm excited to style it um, and just show you how to make something like this a little bit more casual. Um, 
And I know that the last look I said I was gonna throw on a jacket and show you how to layer it and I forgot to do that. Um, so, sorry about that. We'll just do another outfit at the end. Um, I'm gonna grab my hat because, again, I wanna try and give you some like fun and more unique styling options. I'm gonna grab some cowboy boots. I have two cowboy boots, which I love. Both Lucchese. We've got these really beautiful knee-high burgundy ones. And then we have these shorter white ones. I'm going to try one on each butt and see which looks better. Okay. I feel like I wear my cowboy boots a lot during the summer months and fall. It's wild um, because summer is so hot here, but I kind of love the look with slip dresses and some skirts and I just think they're a good alternative to you know sneakers or some other closed toe shoes. But I admit I think this looks a little too festival for me. Um I'm not going to a music festival. I do like these boots a little bit more. Um let me just put on the second um pair of boots and then maybe swap out this lacy robe with something that's a little bit more my vibe i'm just like not that festival girly i like this look but it's just looking a little too festival for me okay total style pivot i decided to throw on my vintage um wrangler jeans i like these videos because then i can really show you kind of the process I go through when I get dressed sometimes you just have to abandon or totally change the outfit um also probably a little bit reflective of where I am in life right now is just kind of like a little bit all over the place and that's okay and I turn to fashion because I love it it inspires me so what I'm gonna do is as you can see I put on this really cute lacy bra the brand is We Are Hot, and sadly, like they went out of business. They're a sustainable brand, um, but their stuff is really cute. So I am gonna go with this. I'm gonna put on these fun little clogs, and we are changing the vibe. But I feel like I am gonna like this more than I like the festival look, which is so not me and it's fun to try looks and just to see if you like it and it kind of resonates with you but that did not let's go outside and see how this looks i like this so much more than the other one i feel like this is very my vibe i like the lace on lace um because um it's just like so pretty it's really flowy i feel like it's not too hot it's not too constricting i know i've mentioned that a lot uh, in this video but i feel like during the summer months you just like don't want to feel like your clothes are clinging to you and you're just like feeling suffocated by your wardrobe you want to feel comfortable because then you're just gonna love the outfit i just love that this robe has the slits on the side so when i'm walking it just has like a nice flow going um the jeans love love the wash the wear and tear it pairs nicely with like the really lacy feminine vibes and then of course clogs always are a good idea the last few items that i reached for to style are so wrinkly because i just washed them and hung them to dry like this skirt that i got from donna land i mean it would be helpful if it was a little bit domesticated but this is a skirt that i got at an estate sale that has not been styled um and i think i want to have fun with some prints with her um plus do a little jacket situation to show you how i would dress it up okay look at how pretty this skirt is it is 70s poly skirt it has buttons all the way down like i truly forgot how cute this is so I'm gonna get a cute little chop for it and then a jacket and some heels. Okay, I grabbed this Versace little cropped tank. I'm getting closer so you could see. It is black and white. It's like a nice textured material. It's just a little cropped. This 
is like a turtleneck um so this is the only part that's a little wrong. i can't zip it up so it's gonna look a little big right now but we're just gonna pretend it's zipped up um i really like this and then the jacket that i grabbed to throw on over it is my 90s gold metallic saint john because it's like a boxy cropped fit which i really like it's dressy without feeling like too bulky also it's just like important to consider when you're styling up a jacket for summer so let's go outside and see what this looks like together because in my mind it works another great example that you can just have fun with so many different aesthetics and decades and the outfit is just gonna work i love this this is like totally my vibe like 70s meets 2000 meets 90s meets homemade 60s 70s um i really like this let me take off the jacket so you can get a feel for the outfit i unbuttoned the front of the skirt just so it would be a little bit sexier but also it just like has some nice flow going it's all about the flow i love a good crop top moment that does have some coverage i love that this is a turtleneck top um and the skirt is just showing just enough skin i really love this outfit this would be really beautiful for like date night just again like you could wear it with sandals on vacation especially if you want to do a little bit of a pattern play and this little clutch i always love adding to any outfit to say this is probably my favorite look today one last outfit before the sign off tank belt pants are not new but the stuart weitzman little leopard print mules are new for a recent thrifting trip that you will get to discover on next week's episode it's like another really fun summer outfit i love harem hands if you ever find any thrifting buy them for yourselves because i've styled them up a couple of different ways and they're such a great alternative to like any other slacks or jeans because they instantly look super stylish. You can dress them up, you can dress them down. And I love them with just like a simple top and then belted it because a belt is always a must. So that's the last look. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really needed this little chit chat and styling session with you all. Be sure to tune in next Friday because it is going to be such an amazing day of thrifting with a surprise guest. Bye.